I'm doing some top tier investigating today. I'm on the case. We're gonna get to the bottom of Warren Buffett. I think I think he's up to something. Hello, how's it going? This is Rich Boy Wayne, aka the Specialist of Opportunity. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a secret strategy, one that you can use to copy the top traders of the world to make above average high returns. And that strategy is a strategy that I've dubbed the shadow style, shadow investing, the mirror strategy, hotel investing. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to sec.gov and once you're here, you want to type in the name of the person that you're doing a search on, which in this case is going to be Warren Buffett. So again, you're going to type in Buffett and uh, you may actually have to go ahead and type in the name of the company or the brokerage that they own. So in this case, it's going to be Berkshire Hathaway. So here we go and there we go and what you want to do is you want to scroll down to the bottom here and go to where it says ownership disclosures click on this and you're going to get a list and we want to look for the most current one which is going to be may 12th because today is may 12th and here we go and you can see that today this may not have been bought or sold today but it looks like it was the transaction was made on the 10th so maybe the stock has moved a little bit since then maybe it hasn't but anyway you get the idea looks like he is buying the occidental petroleum company or oxy for short so it looks like uh warren buff is buying him some oxy some oxy cotton i didn't know he likes to get down like that you know i mean you know i guess if he wants to buy some oxy you know he can but that's how you do that so let's go and let's take a look at somebody else. Uh, not Warren Buffett, but somebody else. So we'll go back home page and let's look for somebody. Uh, let's see. Who's another good person we can look at? Look at uh, old the medallion fund. Yes. See if we can look at medallion fund. It looks like uh, this is it. Go to ownership disclosures and here we go this doesn't really show us anything i believe you have to go to the inside of transactions let's see let me show us anything either we're looking for actual transactions sometimes you gotta do a little bit of work but a little bit of work goes a long way so these don't really show us anything as far as what they actually bought on this one we're gonna move on another one that i like to use is let's say for example you're looking for somebody who is not a professional trader in other words they don't have a brokerage they don't have a firm how do you find their information somebody that is perceivably one of the greatest traders in all of u.s history let's say you want to look up nancy pelosi's trades how would you do that well there is a website you can go to it's called clerk.house.gov so we're gonna go here and of course i type this in wrong that's how i do things and uh let's do this again there we go okay so now that we're here we're gonna go about and we're gonna go to member information and we're gonna go to member profile and we're gonna search for losa here we go and what we're looking for is the disclosures and financial disclosure reports okay so i completely did this wrong i'm sorry you want to go to disclosures, then go to search reports, then type in Pelosi, then type in the current year, then hit search. I made this way more complicated than what it needed to be. And then you click on the most current one. And that's not the most current. Uh, this is probably it right here. That was back in December. This is more current. Okay. So it looks like the last stock that she bought was Warner Brothers. And uh, what we're looking for is we're looking for large purchases and this looks like a large purchase i mean it was between fifty thousand and a hundred thousand dollars you know that's a pretty large purchase and what i like to look at i like to look at things that are it looks like she bought some tesla too a million dang that's a lot of money 
Look at that, a million to five million dollars worth of stock. And of course it tells you purchase, P is for purchase, of course. S is for sale. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, so it looks like she bought Disney twice. She bought it back on the, looks like back on the 21st of January. Then she turns around and buys it again. This is the kind of stuff that I like to look at because as a trader myself, I like to try to get inside the minds of the people who are making the trades to try to understand. Okay, so I think I see what happened. She bought it then and she exercised her options. That's what the E stands for. So I was kind of confused. Maybe she was buying doubling down. Looks like she exercised her options. So keep that in mind too. Uh, what was I, I going to say? When a person is buying something, you got to pay attention to the transaction type. Make sure it says purchase or P. And then you can typically, you can buy when they buy and sell when they sell. Or right around the, some, you know, the same time frame. That's pretty much it. Um, there's some other ones too that are pretty good. Uh, it looks like smartinsider.com. Let's go there real quick. Somebody recommended the site to me. I don't really use it. But it's pretty useful for looking up different members of Congress and see what they're buying. Looks like somebody is buying board today. Okay, that's back on the first. Never mind. So I'm, I'm pretty sure you can set up an RSS feed to get the live updates for this, but I don't really want to go through that. That's a whole nother topic, a whole nother video. If you guys want me to make a video about that, I'll show you how to set it up. If this video gets to 100 likes, I'll do it. So if you get this video to 100 likes, I'll show you how to set up an RSS feed to get this to your inbox so you get notified via email whenever somebody makes a trade in Congress. But for now, you can just log into the website. So this is this website. Um, there's another one that I want to show you guys that is also useful. It's called CapitalTrades.com. Now, I, I like this site. This gives you a little bit more info. A little bit more info. You get to know who's doing the trading. Look at all these. Look at Virginia Fox. She's getting her trades on. She's just going through this thing. Well, well, well. Look at that. But none of these traders can even compare to Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi is the top trader in all of Washington, D.C. There is not a single trader that can beat Nancy Pelosi. She's the top person. But, and I think you can actually go through here and you can look. Yes. Maybe if I spell right. Look at all these trades. Good lord. All these trades. Look at the last trade that she made. Back on the 11th. She hasn't really done much in the last month or so. But what you want to do, again, you can set this up to notify you when they make trades. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually... Yeah, you can set this up on the RSS feed pretty easily. Again, that's another video, but you can see that she bought some Tesla. I mean, she bought a lot of Tesla, like a million dollars worth. And that's the kind of stuff that I like to look at. I like to look at what it is that they're buying and how much of it. If she's willing to put her that much money into this trade, I think she knows something. She knows something, definitely. She's owned to something here. Because the rest of these are, you know, 250 there, 250 there, 500 there. Nobody, no reasonable person buys a million dollars worth of stock unless they know something, unless they're sure of something. And so that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the sure, the big money, the big trades, because that's how you know that they know something. That's how you know. But if you want to be in the know, uh, you can subscribe to this channel and uh, go ahead and like this video. And as always, you guys can stay up, stay positive. I'll see you guys in the next video.